back on To Your Health, and I'm your host, Dr. Bruce Bonanno. My next guest is Dr. Stephen Lee, and we're going to be discussing some non-surgical options to plastic surgery. Stephen, welcome to To Your Health. Thank you. Non-surgical plastic surgery. Most people, you know, hear plastic surgery, they're just thinking about the knife, and they, they're scared of it, because, as they should be, because surgery is surgery, and there can be complications that readily occur with surgery. Now, non-surgical plastic surgery options now, or cosmetic surgery options, are available. Uh, I guess the most common that we all hear about now is Botox. True. I, I guess for those out there who don't, what exactly is Botox? Well, Botox is actually a, um, well, first of all, Botox in itself is a, is a, um, a trademark name by a company who actually purified the um, botulism toxin. And the toxin has been purified such that in itself, when it's used, it can paralyze the muscle that can cause wrinkles. So in using very, very minimal amounts, um, the toxin itself, again, can paralyze the indicated muscle that causing wrinkles. And that in itself is very safe and has been shown to be very effective for wrinkles around the forehead, around the, uh, around the eyes, such as the crow feet. So. So, so people that are looking at cosmetic surgery, those are the, the big indications. Uh, Forehead wrinkling, crow's feet, anything else that you might use it for? Well, you, you can, it has been used in other, um, other medical um, specialties for um, any, if there's overactivity of um, muscular movement, neuro, neuromuscular movement. However, as far as cosmetic surgery is concerned, once you paralyze the muscles causing the wrinkles, uh, it can smooth out the surfaces and therefore giving you a very youthful um, appearance. Now, we actually have some pictures that we can throw up on the screen and sure. you can show us a, a before and after look. And we have it coming up. There we go. Right. You can see on the top picture the, um, the wrinkles around the, the upper portion of the nose, or we call the glabella region. Um, that, that's a pre-treatment. Pre and afterwards, the post-treatment with the Botox, you can see that um, the wrinkling has pretty much disappeared. Yeah, it looks very much flatter. Uh, I, and I guess that's what most people are, are aiming for, that effect, the youthful appearance. Right. Uh, you know, we, we, we have to mention, though, you know, it was in the news recently about botulism and somebody having these Botox injections and being hospitalized. Uh, what, what's that and what concern should people have about that? Well, unfortunately, they are, um, they're, well, first of all, that's an isolated case. It happened in Florida in a um, clinic. And that's, as far as I know, is still under investigation. And there's no, the company that actually makes the Botox itself has been, um, that has, again, been FDA approved and, and it hasn't, there's no, cases out there. So again, that's an isolated case that hasn't shown. Um, it's relative, it's very safe. And we have another picture up on the screen? Yes, that again, it's, uh, you can see there's a different patient and she, she has her wrinkles more uh, on medial and tend to extend more laterally. Mm -hmm. However, with the Botox treatment, she also improved greatly. You can oh. see the smooth forehead. All righty, now we have another picture. Now, this is another um, surgical option we use actually for laser hair removal and another non-surgical option for people who are concerned about um, excessive hair, um, laser hair reduction can, can do, do wonders, as is you can this, see in this picture. Is this limited to any area of the body for the hair removal? No, it's not limited, it's not limited to any area of the body. It's, it's pretty much you can use anywhere. Okay. Now, another surgical option we have, um, or actually as a non-surgical option, is um, um, laser skin resurfacing for patients who have um, lax skin and they need to want to tighten up their um, the surface, or should I say this, their skin, laser resurfacing is also a good option for those okay. that skin non-surgical um, um, help. Uh, this is laser vein removal. As you can see on the, this picture, on, on the picture on the left, patients will have what is called spider veins in, right. in common terms, and um, laser can take care of that too. So we, we do get a pretty good result for um, cosmetic results for this. And I imagine this is usually on the legs, people, you know, especially women who don't want these unsightly legs, uh, the, the veins going, popping. And then finally, we have another one. Right, another non-surgical option for people who want more fill into um, deep creases of their face is um, injectable fillers. And right now, there are different options such as collagen or restylane. Restylane is a, um, a company name um, mm -hmm. for what is called hyaluronic acid. And this is similar to what they usually inject uh, a lot of women to make those puffy lips? Yes, it is. It's, um, they do want to have the more powdier, more youthful look looking lips. They do, um, as you can see in this picture, the left side, um, you can see the deep uh, nasal labral crease, and that, that can be injected to give you the smooth appearance so you don't have the deep creases. So I, I guess the, the, the main idea is that anybody that wants or thinking about cosmetic surgery, 
there's a lot of non-surgical alternatives out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, how would we get... In touch, or how would someone get in touch with you to find out about some of these options? Sure. You can call my office at the, um, the SAMR group. Um, my number is 732-739-2100. And, um, Thank for coming. I'll Thank see you, you later tonight nice in the ER. And Thank we'll you. Be, that's <laughs> all the time we have for today's show. Thanks for watching. Website. Until see, next time, thanks. I'm Dr. Bufanano. You want to be wise, be strong, be healthy. Have a nice and safe holiday season and a happy new year. Take care now.